Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry for the delay, but it seems that again I had an inconvenience with the internet connection. It uh, suddenly stopped working, but it, it's working now. That's weird, but okay. Uh, welcome, everyone, and thank you very much for joining today's class on time. I thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it, guys. So how are you today? How is your day going? Everything good? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, great. Um, so, so. <laughs> so, so, are you tired? Very tired, tired. Yeah. Even though it's... Um, Tuesday, right? Today is Tuesday. So even though it's Tuesday, I feel tired as well. But fortunately, we are here. So that's good, guys. Good to see you, okay? So because of the time, because of the hour, I believe that we will go through the attendance list right now, guys. Or you know what? We will go ahead and go through the attendance list at 8.20 uh, because uh, I believe at 8.20 everyone will be joined to the class. So it's better. All Good right. evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello. 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 Uh, Daniel and Ezekiel. Yes. Daniel, Ezekiel, um, Jennifer. Julio, um, Marina, uh -huh. Marina, you said that you mm -hmm. like both names. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let's see, yeah. Yes, I already learned Um, how do you like to be called. Uh, Osbin, Osbin, Osbin as well. And welcome, Marcos Amilcar. Amilcar is here, guys. Welcome him, okay? Welcome, Hello, Mariela. Aha, uh -huh, Mariela and Amilka. You, you, you was lost yesterday, right? Oh, you were lost yesterday. But welcome back to the class. All right. Hello, Sabrina. Hello, uh, Fatima. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Mabel. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Christian. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Stefania. Hi, teacher. Um, hi, Lisette and Kenny. Hi, Marielos. Oh, hi, Luis. Um, hi. Julio, sorry to interrupt you. Could you please put your full name? Perdón que lo moleste. Puede poner todo su nombre completo, please. <laughs> Julio Merino. Ajá, todo su nombre. Ah. Todo su ah, nombre. Okay. Ajá, perdone y que lo moleste. Jesse, ayer lo puse, teacher. Ah, tal vez si lo ponen en la aplicación para que no lo esté cambiando siempre, porque ahorita eh, le aparece Julio Merino. Sí, es cierto. Pero no se preocupe, muchas gracias hoy. Le agradezco. Ahorita, ahorita que lo interrumpo. cambiamos. No, no, <laughs> Thank no, you. No, no worries. Okay, guys. So, um, I know you are tired. I'm tired as well. I'm always running at this time because I have a lot of things to do before classes. So, I was running today, but I am here. Um, so, it's a pleasure to be with you again. And... Since we have Marielos and Amilcar here, um, I would like to listen to them because they will be introducing themselves, okay? For the ones that, 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 you, that do not know them, okay? So Amilcar wants to start, I don't know why, but my heart, it's telling me that Amilcar wants to start. <laughs> so Amilcar, could you please introduce yourself because everyone wants to meet you. Thank you, Amilcar. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thanks. Um, hello, my full name is Marcos Amilcar Macia Gutierrez. Um, um, I am I 
Oh, I'm, I am uh, 34 years old. I am living in the city of Apopa, city of Apopa, but I work in city, San Salvador city. Um, in, in Servicio Global is a structured cabling company. I like listening to music. Um, my favorite uh, gen, gen, general, 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 gender, gender uh -huh. is the romantic in English and Spanish. What's your favorite song in a milk car? Uh, is my my favorite song is the um, a, a cheetah, the the photograph. The photo. Children, children. See, children. Oh my God! <laughs> el carro vero. <laughs> How to say el carro vero? <laughs> that cannot Molina. be translated. That cannot be translated. El carro vero, guys. We cannot translate that. Um, I don't know. That's weird, right? So, carro vero, carro vero, guys. Like horchata, horchata, pupusas, pupusas, all right. So that's uh, something that we cannot translate it, Garrovero, <laughs> because we want to keep it like that, right? Uh, the origin. So we better say the Garrovero. Okay, teacher. So I really love El Garrovero song. Okay, la canción del Garrovero. I don't know. That's an example. Garrovero. Is that a song? Is una canción? Sí, ¿verdad? Yeah, San Cito Molina. Uh -huh, no, exactly. like you don't translate it because if not, then you will have another result. So you don't translate it. Uh -huh. It's by Aniceto Molina. But okay, uh, you know what? N now that we're talking about Aniceto Molina, I had a friend, a Colombian, a Colombian friend. She was my best friend. She was my best friend because she is not anymore. I don't know why um, she is not anymore, but okay. She didn't even know about uh, Aniceto Molina. They don't know <laughs> Aniceto Molina. I asked her, hey, do you know Aniceto Molina? Who's him? I don't know. I don't know him, he, she said, and she is from Colombia. So she is not well known in Colombia, just in El Salvador. But, but Aniceto Molina is more popular in, in El Salvador, in this country. Yes, that's right. That's what I'm telling you, that she didn't know who, who was him. She didn't know about Aniceto Molina, and she was from Colombia. You, you, didn't, you didn't know about Aniceto Molina? I said, no, I don't know who is him. And then I start, like you know, singing the song about Niceto Molina, and I, I send her a video about one of the famous songs, um, and she didn't know it. Oh, something that calls my attention, I don't know why, maybe because I don't know if she was a millennial or not, or not like me, right? <laughs> but, but what I wanted to say is this, that she said that she hates Vallenato, so, and Vallenato is one of the, um, of the famous, well, I don't know if it is the, how do you say that? Oh my God. Carlos Vives? Pupusa, he said, no, no. Is that Vallenato? Yeah. No, no. Carlos Vives. Carlos Vives, sí. ah, okay, Vallenato. Aha, it's, Cumbia is different, right? Yes. This cumbia is different from vallenato, but she said that she didn't like cumbia or vallenato music. But I don't know why, but at the end, it is from Colombia, right? So, uh, I don't know. Maybe we don't appreciate things from our country sometimes. I'm not, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about everyone because we sometimes we don't appreciate things, right? And other people from another country appreciate the things from El Salvador. So I believe that they are like that as well because we appreciate things from Colombia and maybe they don't appreciate. Maybe 
not everyone. Maybe, maybe she was the only one. <laughs> maybe, right? So I can I cannot uh, say something in general because I don't know, guys. But ju I, I just wanted to say that, that they don't know about any cetomonim. <laughs> so, okay. So I can see that almost everyone is here. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo is here as well. We have another Julio. <laughs> and Julio was like, teacher, I'm the only Julio here. <laughs> Hi, Julio. Welcome. The okay. both names, uh, Julio Cesar. <laughs> wow, yes. <laughs> Julio Cesar. Uh -huh, Julio Cesar. Hi, Julio, why you are not, you're not talking today? You are shy. You're shy today. Oh, okay, got you. He has problems with the microphone, okay? Okay, but he is Julio. Um, and I don't know how old is he. Maybe later on, he will be able to introduce himself, okay? But he's a great person, okay? <laughs> so, guys, uh, we will continue with the class that we had yesterday. I don't remember if I do have... If I... Sorry. Yes. Do you have homework for today? No, right? No? No, no. Sure. Yes. I remember I, yes, you have homework. Yes, I remember I said, guys, your homework will be to uh, tell me. Oh, no, but it's not for today, right? It's in two weeks or in one week. Because I tell you to tell me the things that you have as a suggestion for these classes, the feedback or something that you would like to learn. I mean, no, in what way or in what strategies you love learning, etc. That was the homework. It, it was not for today. I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> and Marina was like, teacher, you don't, we don't have homework today. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Yes, you can restart your device, Julio. Teacher. Are you teacher. Hello, Kenny. Sorry, voy a interrumpir un momento. Fíjese que Ileana Carolina está informándome que ella no se pudo conectar el día de ayer y ahorita está intentando ingresar. No le llegó el link para ingresar a la clase. Entonces yo se lo reenvié el que a mí me mandaron, pero uh -huh. intenta entrar y le da error. Entonces no sé cómo puede hacer. Let me get a second, Kenny. Just one mi minute. Do you have her full name? Eliana Carolina? Calderón Cisneros. Oh, okay. One second. Um, okay, thank you, Kenny. Just allow me one moment. Um, I'm just seeing uh, Julio's message right now. The error that is given her, uh, giving him. Your microphone is not working. Please, please check your connection or use a different microphone. Um, what you can do is, there you go, to tell teacher almost how we learn English. There you go. That is the homework. Very good. Um, maybe if you go to the audio settings. Let me see. That is the microphone, right? Let me send him a picture. <clears throat> mm. What is the device? It's a computer or a telephone? 
Is that a computer or a telephone, Julio? Um, how can I help you, Julio? Mm -hmm. How can I help? Wow, that's customer service. Yeah, I work in that, but work in, in computer. That area? Oh, great. Kenny, where are you, Hello, Kenny? Teacher. I'm looking for you. Oh, hello, Julio. We can see you too, right now. Kenny, I will send you yes, a text. No Thank you. Thank you. Now that you're here, Julio, we want to know about you. We want to meet you. I know. I already know you. But we have new faces today in this course. So could you please introduce yourself? <laughs> because the other people want to know about you. Uh, Julio? Hey, we have a black Superman in this group. Black Superman. <clears throat> a black Superman. <laughs> Sabrina. <laughs> I don't get it. The t shirt. I, I have a t shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was a Punisher, but no, it's, it's, it's Superman. <laughs> Black Superman. <laughs> mm -hmm. Black Superman. Okay, Kenny, I send it to you a, a, a message, okay? Julio. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Um, Hi, like teacher. Perdón con el link. <laughs> oh, is the internet? <laughs> All right. Um, Julio, let me know whenever everything is working fine because we would like to meet you. So we can, I mean, you can introduce yourself, please. But let me know whenever everything is working fine, okay? Okay, guys. So we will continue then with the topic that we had yesterday. Before going to this topic, um, I would like to ask the one who is um, in uh, pink, blouse pink is wearing a pink blouse is just arena wearing a pink blouse blouse yes is that a pink one yes right that's a pink pink color okay sabrina i would like to ask you what did we learn yesterday do you remember the topic that we were learning yesterday about we studied about can't or can't and we saw that we use can when it's for abilities, and we use can't for something that we can do. We can't do. Great job. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Ezekiel, could you please help us to give uh, uh, an example of ability or about can? Uh, I can play the piano. Okay, that's an ability, right? I can play the piano. Perfect. All right. What about Mama Marina? Could you please tell me an example about something that you cannot do? Or you uh, can do? I don't know, teacher. Something that you cannot do, like you don't have the ability to do it, like playing the um, guitar, um, maybe swim. Can you swim? I, no, I can't, teacher. Oh, oh my God, I didn't know. But okay, that will be an example. Teacher or guys, I can swim, okay? Okay. I can swim all right i, I can, can swim i can swim very good um let's see osbin do you remember the other way of saying can't what is the other way of saying can't
excuse me. Ah, uh, don't <laughs> uh, worry, it's fine. <laughs> I can, I can, I can use can, and when uh, and uh, ability. Okay. Or, or when you can, you, can you do don't, something. you can do anything. Uh -huh, you can <laughs> do anything. Very good. Um, oh, let me share the screen really quick. I believe I can share the whiteboard. Okay. Do you see the whiteboard, guys? No, yes. yes. Uh -oh. okay. okay, great. So we said that we can use can't, all right, in negative um, um, sentences. And we can also say cannot. All right, so those are both way of saying, um, in that case, negative statements with can and cannot, okay? <clears throat> so let's see, let's have some examples just to make sure about this structure, okay? We can say, um, let's see. Um, Kenny, all right. Kenny can, um, let's see, can, can uh, type fast, all right? Kenny can type fast, type, typing fast, all right? Um, in order to make it a negative, how do I make this? question, I mean, not question this sentence in negative, guys. How can, how can we do it in negative form? Kenny cannot type fast. Very good. Kenny cannot, right? Or we can say can't. can't. Either or. Cualquiera de las dos, okay? Can or can type fast. All right? Kenny can type fast. Kenny cannot or can type fast. All right, very good. So what about if I would like to make a question? How would I make a question here, guys? Mm, Estefania. Can. Ah, okay, yes. Tarina, can? Can Kenny type fast? Can Kenny type, type. fast? Sorry, fast. fast, very good, good job. Okay, so here we have the affirmative sentence, all right? This is the affirmative form, sorry, one moment. This is the affirmative, affirmative, that is the negative, oh my God. This is the negative form and this is the question or interrogative form. Yes, no question. Kenny can type fast. Kenny cannot or can type fast. Or can Kenny type fast? Type fast, sorry. <clears throat> and this is for ability, okay? This is for ability, guys. We're talking about ability or something that you cannot or something that you can do, okay? So, do me a favor, guys, and um, do you have access? I have a question right now for you. Do you have access to your curriculum right now, to your uh, CV? Do you have access to your CV? No, I don't, teacher. No? Mm, oh, but maybe. you did it, right? You did it, so you remember, you know about yourself. <laughs> Okay, so do me a favor. Try to think about your CV right now. Or try to go to your CV and try to get three abilities that you have in your CV. Okay, three abilities that you have written or you have typed on your CV. Tres habilidades que ustedes tienen en el currículo y que con eso ustedes dicen, okay, I can do this, I can do that. And I can do the other thing. And from these three abilities, you make three questions. Those three questions will be just in affirmative, right? Because we don't want to be negative here. We want to get the job. <laughs> We're not going to be saying we cannot. 
I can do it, all right? So let's look for three abilities in the CV. Vayan a buscar tres habilidades en su currículum. De esas tres habilidades, si por ejemplo usted dijo que usted puede maneja Excel, um, maneja herramientas digitales, es decir, ahí las menciona. I don't know. Dependiendo del tipo de trabajo, ¿verdad? Puede coser, uh, puede cocinar, I don't know, etc. Ok. Um, let's make three sentences. Tres oraciones en afirmativas utilizando el can. Más la habilidad que usted puede hacer de acuerdo a su currículum. Ok. Please. And then, guys, yes, Ezekiel. Eh, lo decimos así o, o. Um, you can keep keep them in mind, or you can write it down. Keep them in mind, or or just write it down. And later on, we will um suppose that you are in an interview, okay? And I am the interviewer, and I will ask you. Esta es un, va a ser una pregunta de la, de la um, entrevista. Yo soy la, entrevista, la que va a entrevistar y usted es el entrevistado. Yo le voy a decir, ok, deme tres habilidades en inglés, right? And you will, you will mention the three abilities that you have already down, ok? And we will do it here, here, in this room. Acá lo vamos a hacer. Yo le voy preguntando cuáles son las habilidades. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and take this situation. Let's think about the situation that you are applying for a job. You are applying for a job. And in this job, you want to get it. And those abilities will help you to get the job. So I will ask you, okay, um, Fatima Denise, could you please mention what are your, Mention three abilities that you have. And then Fatima will start mention one, two, and three using can. Okay? So let's have two more minutes to do it. Two more minutes to look those abilities in your CV. All right? Two minutes. Guys, while you are doing so, I will go through the attendance list, okay? Voy a pasar la attendance list mientras um, estamos haciendo esta actividad. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ezequiel Alvarez Mejia. You got the name changed already. Thank you. Present teacher. <laughs> All right. Estela Mabel Orellana. Mm, I don't have this change. <laughs> I don't have this change yet. Todavía no tengo el suyo. I will go ahead and remind this. All right. Thank you. <laughs> But I have problem because because it's new. Uh, my duty, and this is the problem. My my in my job they they don't change my name in the planilla. <laughs> uh, okay. This is my problem. If Probably maybe that is for the, reason, the new, right? yeah. No problem, but maybe the new when the other curse 
the new yeah oh i'm sorry but if you have the name um i mean that name on your work and they didn't change it i mean we need to go exactly the way that they are having it i believe that that, that is the reason why they didn't fix it right but i will ask i will continue asking for that is so moment to see because if you don't have it uh the way that you have in your DUI or in your ID, that is the reason mm -hmm. why they cannot change it. Because if not, it's not gonna be valid the certificate, right? Yes, but not probably teacher. Okay, instead of mobile. All right, thank you very much. So let me get a second. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortez. Uy, Jaime, where is Jaime? Sabrina, where is your best friend? I don't know, teacher. I was asking you that same. <laughs> okay. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Present, teacher. Great. Jessica El Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Okay. Great, Jessica. Jonathan Alexis Gonzalez Torres. Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Julio Cesar Ramiro Sarevano. Present. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Um, Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. ¿Está bien? ¿Es that okay? ¿O no? Present. Oh, thank you. Osvin, is, is it the way that it is? Hernández Flores or Flores Hernández? It is Flores Hernández. Oh, they haven't changed it. All right. I will ask for that, okay? Thank you. Um, okay. Sabrina Lizette Garcia Orellana. Sabrina Lizette. Present teacher, it's raining. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Del Carmen Hernandez, Miss Smith. Lizeth. Del Carmen. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Okay, great. Okay, guys, so I will ask you right now. This is an interview, okay? You're applying for the most important job in your life. And I am the interviewer, okay? I will ask you a question. And the question is, mention three abilities, okay? Okay, I will um, start with Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> um, yes. Could you please mention three abilities you have? Okay. Number one, I can direct lab laboratory practice. Number two, I can handle large groups. And number three, I can teach chemistry, physics, and biology. biology. Great, you are hired. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Kristen Josue, could you please mention three abilities that you have? It's very easy. I can use the... My, micro, Microsoft Word, 
I can use the new app for online class. I can arrive early every day, every moment. I don't have problems. Oh, that's because you are a morning person, right? Well, you are hired because uh, I really want uh, teachers to come early, all right? Every single day, no matter what. So you're you are you are hired, okay? Congratulations, yeah. Christian. All right. <laughs> Kenny, Lisette, uh, could you please mention three abilities you have? I um, I am um, uh, good. Bueno, I no sé. Buena con los números. No I sé cómo can, decir. I, I can, can solve mathematics problems. Maybe I can solve mathematics problems. I can solve. Solve. Ajá, resolver. Solve. solve. Uh -huh. I mathematics can solve problems. Mathematics problem. And I can play soccer. All right. Um, I, um, no sé. I don't know. Um, Abilities. And I can. Buena memoria, no sé cómo decir. Oh. I can remember things easily. I can remember things. Easily? Think easily. Mm -hmm. um, I did them like that so that I can use can, but you can also say I'm good at mathematics or I'm good in math, or you can say I have a good memory. But since we are learning, ha uh, sorry, can't, that is the reason I changed it. But I said the same in another words, okay? okay. In other words, sorry. Okay, Daniel, it's fine. All right, uh, Ezekiel, it's fine. Okay, Daniel, thank you, Kenny, you are, you are higher, okay? We really need a person who plays soccer because we will have a team, all right? So, Daniel, uh, could you please mention three abilities that you have? Me or Ezekiel? You, Daniel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. I can do different styles of clothes. I can speak and understand English well. I can go go out to other country if if is sorry to solve a problem and get a possible solution. Oh, that's great. Perfect. You are hired, Daniel. Okay, we yeah. want, we're looking for you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I would like to ask um, Marina. Marina, uh, could you please mention three abilities you have? Um, I can work at the computer. I can write the report. I can use the system about the personal. Okay. And, uh -huh. okay. So and I can drive a car. Oh, okay. Uh, We're looking for that kind of person. Uh, I don't know if you are uh, sorry that I will change in the, the topic, right? But you're higher, Marina. Okay. Uh, there are many um, jobs that you're, you're required to, to, to drive. I mean, you are required to drive because um, you need to do it, right? So that's an, that's an important thing, guys, you can mention, right? Even though you might say, mm, for me, no, but yes, that's an ability. 
So very good, uh, Marina. Let's see, uh, Sabrina, are you there? Sabrina, could you mention three abilities you have? Okay, number one, I can handle sterilization equipment. Number two, I can fill out medical reports. Yo escucho cortado, Sofía. No sé si solo soy yo. Escucho cortado. Está lloviendo. It's raining. Sorry. No, I can hear you well. Lo demás, how do you listen to her? Sí, fine. I hear well. Oh, sorry. Okay. I might be well. here. Could you please check your, your internet, maybe? Right here. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sorry, Sabrina, could you please continue? Thank you, Stefania. Let us know, okay? Siempre déjenos no, saber licencia. si hay problemas. Siempre déjenos saber, guys, porque puede ser que usted sea o los demás sean, pero de todas maneras hay interferencia. Así, así está bien. Nosotros escuchamos súper bien. Así está bien. Thank you. Bueno. Thank you, no, Stefania. Bien. Thank you for reporting. Bueno. Okay. Eh, no, it's fine. Buenas noches, primeramente. Eh, Vamos a exponer sobre nuestro, nuestra investigación de mercado, que es la empresa Soy Green. Ah, ok, Sabrina. No, it's fine. Ok, Sabrina. Number three, I can prepare surgical instruments. I don't know how to use surgical. Chirúrgico. Oh, ok. Surgery. I'm not pretty sure. Um, chirurgical, right? Uh huh. Instrument. Surgical. Surgical. Mm, let me check the pronunciation. But yes, it's it is sur surgical. 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 Mm? I can prepare surgical instruments. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, very good. That's the person I was looking for. Okay, so you are higher. Thank you. All right, let's see. Marielo Janet. Could you mention three abilities that you have? Okay. I am okay. perform Finan Finan is thanks. I can make the accounting on the end. I okay. am procedure tax the end. Okay, thank you very much for that, Marielos. I really appreciate it. Okay, uh, you are hired. Osbin, could you mention three abilities that you have using can? Yes, um, I can to fix the computer. I can use the Acumar for make a pattern make a pattern design. I can teach to use Acumar for make pattern design. Okay, perfect. That is definitely the person that I'm looking for. <laughs> Thank you, Oswin. All right, Luis, are you there? Yes, Could teacher. you mention three abilities that you have, Luis? Uh, uh, okay, um, I can handle Excel at an um, advanced level. Uh, I can elaborate audit management letters. Uh, I can use Power BI, Microsoft Power BI. Okay, interesting. You're higher. I'm a higher. Congratulations, okay. <laughs> you will okay. start tomorrow at 3 a.m. 3 a.m., okay. okay? Okay, I quit. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Don't be like that, Luis. <laughs> okay, so let's go with um, 
Jessica, could you mention three abilities? I can work in a team. I may I can make reports. I can very good. You're higher as well. You're gonna start at 10 a.m. tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. CQ, could you mention three abilities? Yes, teacher. Uh, I can repair computers. I can. You. I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, uh, I try to say I am a programmer. I, I know three language, program language. So I can program. <laughs> and I can use I Microsoft exactly project base good good job all right perfect you're higher okay you. good job Julio could you mention three abilities who what Julio oh, sorry Julio oh. Merino ah okay <laughs> well well um um in, in my world uh, uh, learning um how patience you, you can be patient uh, you, you you can be patient you said you patient and uh, hi uh, uh -huh. i okay. i i take it I thank you for me to patience, patience, patience. Okay, you can yes. say I can be patient. I yeah, can. I can, be patient. I, I can be patient. I I thank it for me. Great. Thank you. Yes. Um. Um. Uh, también son son mm -hmm. son uh, I um I um. um other ability is as uh, right. I like to write. Really? Yes. Yes. You can um, write. You can write. write. Uh, yes. Um, okay. Poem? Young... Hmm? Do you like, I mean, can you write poems or do you write fast maybe? You write poems or you write something to read. I mean. Something like... to read. Something to okay, great. Uh -huh. uh, um, um, a recent recent market is uh, other ability. Hello, hello. Sorry, I got my microphone on off, but thank you very much for your good job. Okay, Fatima, Fatima, could you mention three abilities? Me faltaba, teacher. <laughs> perdóneme, perdóneme. Go, Julio Merino. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, my yes. bad, my bad, yes. sorry. Uh, I say, um, I work in 11 years um, in marketing reset. Yes, um, I, I learning. I learning uh, she, she opportunity to share to share um take it okay thank you Julio I really appreciate okay. it okay? okay you are higher all right you're gonna start tomorrow from eight to eight from eight to eight <laughs> no it's it's fine thank you okay Fatima go with that with yours um i can use excel at advanced level and i can work under pressure and i can learn fast good job very good all right very good good job you got the job all right <laughs> okay marcos amilcar go with 
um, you did it already, right? Sorry. Okay, teacher. I I can use Excel and PowerPoint. I can make good for a project. I can do installation. Uh, no, I can do camera installation on um, video surveillance. It's Bye, all guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> I have so, surveillance, I have the vigilancia. Really? That's great. Interesting. Thank you very much. Okay. You're okay. hired. All right. Let's see who's missing. Julio Cesar, are you ready? Um, Osvin? Oh, okay. Go for it, Julio. Do you have three abilities about yourself using Ken? I can prepare a financial statement. I can project cash flows. I can do financial analysis. All right, that is the person that I'm looking for. You're at higher, okay? Thank you, Julio. All right, perfect. Osvin, did you pass already? No, right? Yeah. I, can, I tell you that the ability. Yes, you told me. Yes, I remember. I remember I said, uh, interesting, I was looking for you. I said that. All right, because you said that you handle computers, right? As well. Yes. All right, yes. and pattern design. All right. Yes. Who's yes, missing, that's, that's guys? It. Who's missing? Marcos Antonio, are you ready? And Mabel, Mabel, go for it. What are okay. your three abilities? Okay, thank you. I can learn fast. Whatever uh, thing that I, I, because I, I like to learn. Uh, I can work with a photocopier. I can solve problems in whatever. Uh, situation great job we really need mabel in our life okay i For know that Estel, sorry i know that estella mabel is multi, is multitasking because uh -huh. she's on class and she's watching her children and she's wow yes she's focusing two things at the same time you can say i can the be multi a, most, a multitasking person Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you. All right, Marcos. Oh, by the way, Mabel, can you start tomorrow at 9 a.m.? From 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The okay, perfect. Teacher, what, is the, what is the, the, the price? <laughs> <laughs> the salary. <laughs> uh -huh. Teacher, salary, please. That's the first thing. <laughs> Thank you, Mabel. Okay, Marcos Antonio, tell us what are your three abilities? Okay, um, I can play the guitar. I can fix the computer. And I can cook. All of that. Very I good. Know. You will start tomorrow, okay? Just, you will work just from 1 to 3 p.m. That's it. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And you're done, okay? Yeah. 1,000? 1, <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> 2,000. <laughs> mm, 2,000. Okay, 1,000 per hour. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations. Um, you have a lot of abilities, guys. All right. I'm impressed with your abilities that you have. And I wish I have such employees like you. All right. So guys, um, let's continue then with the class. We do have a conversation I would like to practice with you that is on the page 
number nine. All right. Go to the page number nine in your course book, guys. Page number nine. And we will practice together. Page number nine. I get it. Thank you a lot. All right. Let me stop sharing because I will share the book, the student manual, okay? Page nine. All right. Page number nine. So, guys, here we have the, this is a job interview, all right? Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, so you'll practice the, the pronunciation and intonation and then practice, all right? So, we have a conversation between Andre and Ben. This is an interview, a job interview, okay? So, let's see. Let's listen, listen and repeat after me. Listen and repeat after me, guys. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Hello, Ben. Hello, ben. ben. Welcome. Welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. Nice, nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Mr. Rivera. Mr. Rivera. Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. We are yeah, offering, offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What <coughs> qualifications do you have for this job? What, what qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big project, and I am very good at sales. Well, I can speak English, also I can manage a small and big project, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? That, that sounds, sounds great. great. Can you speak English? 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 And what about using a spreadsheet? Can you use them? Um, what what about, about using a spreadsheet? Can you use them? Can you use them? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can use the spreadsheets. But I am a fast learner. I, I can speak I get it. When can you start? I get it. I get it. it. When, when, can, when, it when, can, you when can you start? Wow, that's one of the best questions. When can you start, right? Because that means that you're hired. Very good, guys. All right. So, um, let's see. Allow me just a second. Mm. Teacher. Yes. What's the meaning of a spreadsheet? Um, hojas de cálculo. Ah, okay. Um, guys, do me a favor. Let's go ahead and read this conversation alone. Tratan de leerlo ustedes mismos ahorita. Two minutes para leerlo. Y luego, we will answer some questions, ¿ok? Ok. Try to read it. Two minutes to read it, guys.
que fuera así de fácil que lo contrataran. Yes. I, I would like so, right? It is because he cannot speak English. <laughs> Okay, guys, so thank you very much. Um, I got some questions for you and I would like to ask you, what are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available, guys? Let's see if you remember. According to this conversation, according to the job interview, what are some of the qualifications that are required for the position available? And they'll speak Chinese. Speak Chinese. It's for a manager position. It's for a manager position, right? Okay. What else besides the speaking Chinese? And using spreadsheets. Using a spreadsheets. Okay. What else? Um be a good uh, sales. Be a uh huh. Very good. Be a good at sales. What else? You can speak English. Okay. Very good. Uh, all right, and what are the qualifications for the work you do, guys? What are the qualifications for the work that you do in your job? Smile. Mm -hmm. Smile? No. Excuse me? Smile. 
My, your job, exactly. What qualifications do you need to have in your job, Marcos? Manager position. Okay. Now, guys, my question is, what are the qualifications for the work that you do? ¿Cuáles son las cualifica, uh, qualifications que ustedes deben, ustedes, eh, I mean, ¿cuáles son las, la, las qualifications que ustedes tienen que tener en su trabajo? Obviamente las que ustedes pues, tienen. Yes. Ajá. Excuse me. Use spreadsheets. Using a spreadsheet. Okay. What else? I can have abilities to customer service. Very good. You need to a have a, you, you can handle abilities for customer service, yes? Sorry, yeah. A, a personal qualification, you say. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, your personal qualifications in your job, the ones that you have, because that is, that is the ones that you use, right? <laughs> it's in, in my case, it's a uh, uh, flexible schedule. Okay. Very you good. You know about designer. No, how come? No, about design. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Sabe que le escuché otra cosa. Oh my god. <laughs> But you... I know that silence. Pensé que me dijo. <laughs> no. This sign. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And I was worried. What did I do? <laughs> okay, very good, guys. Um, yes. Just one question. Yes. Well, When we use the can in third person, we don't add an S because it's a modal verb. But in the next verb, we add uh, S. Base form. Verb. Base, base form. form. Exactly. All in base form with, we can, uh -huh. when we are using can or can't. Exactly. Okay. Base form. Um, the modal verbs are made up of the modal verb plus the base form of the verb. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Very good question. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, guys. So let me see. Now, um, guys, it's time to talk about another topic. And this is the class about the class number two, okay? In this class number two, We will talk about how to use would be and how to use could be. All right. So uh, let's go to the page number 11, guys. Go to the page 11, please. In your book. All right. Here we have the page 11. Here. Okay. Do you get the page? Can I have I a problem? My dear. Marcos, what's going on? Tell me. I have a problem. I have a problem with my internet. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's go ahead and try to restart your internet connection, your, restart your internet network. Marcos, trate de, de, de um, para I... entender su, su red. No sé si es datos móviles o wifi. Trate de... La imagen, pero ya, ya se restableció. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok, guys. 
All right, so I would like to ask you a question, guys. Now that we're talking, sorry, because of my camera is, is getting turned it off. Um, I have some questions for you and those questions are the following, guys. Let's think about your company, okay? Think about your company's mission. Do you know your company's mission? ¿Saben cuál es la misión de su compañía? So you don't know it. Company no, uh, no, I don't know. Sometimes it's difficult to know it, right? But at least you know what your company do, right? What is actually um, the purpose of your company? Why your company is there? What the company wants to achieve, right? So let's think about this. Even though you don't know your the company's mission where you work, but at least you have an idea what your company um, is trying to do in the society or what is trying to contribute in, in, I mean, what is contributing to the society? Or what is the company doing? What is the purpose of the company, okay? Think about this and ask, um, answer, answer the following question. Can you name some ways that you contribute to the company's mission, guys? In what ways do you contribute to the company's mission? What do you think? For the ones that have an idea about the mission of your company, porque probablemente, guys, usted no se sabe a fondo cuál es la misión de la compañía, pero al menos usted tiene una idea, ¿verdad? ¿Para qué están ahí? ¿Qué hacen ellos? So, ¿En qué contribuyen ustedes a la compañía? ¿En qué maneras ustedes contribuyen a la compañía? En inglés, right? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. y, y, y mi compañía es, um, es consumer service. Yes, um, um, our mission is provide our consumer. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for that. So you work in that company and you contribute to do it like that, right? What about the rest of you guys? In what way do you contribute to your company? My company? Mm -hmm. ¿En qué manera That's... usted le contribuye a su compañía? Oh. Yes, um, I, I had, I had uh, work. Yes. Um, okay. Um, and, and share, share new, new clients. Okay. Yes. And, okay. and salad and salad and high high salad. Oh, okay. So you're yes. a salesman. You you actually do a lot of sales. Uh, you do a lot that? of sales, so you sell a lot. Yes, yes. Uh, I am I am sales. I am person ah, sales. Very yes. good. In, in you downtown. contributed a lot. In, in downtown in, in, in San Salvador, downtown. Very um, good. Um, colonias. Okay, and the neighbors. The neighbor. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, I, I hard. I I work hard, very hard, very hard. So you have a direct interaction with the customers, right? You yes, made uh, a direct uh, interaction with the customers because you are selling them. You are selling the product. And you are the image of your company, right, Julio? Yes. That's great. Perfect. Uh, what can you tell me about this, Jennifer? We harmoniously develop the mental, physical, spiritual, and uh, social faculties to form people who are at the service of God and society and through um, curriculum in the media by principles, principles, principles. Okay. Belief and values and making from the holy uh, script 
pictures. I tried. Very good. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Oh, good job. Thank you for I, taking I don't the time. understand, teacher. Sorry. I don't understand what Jennifer say. Oh, I believe Jennifer was saying the mission of the company. She was but, saying uh, the company's mission. Uh, yes, I, I know, but uh, I can I can't oh, hear there was it a, well. Uh -huh, yes, I'm sorry. The, the sounds, the sounds was difficult. Yes, there, there was a, there was a, um, I mean, her, her voice was breaking up, right? Her voice was breaking up. Se estaba trabando un poco la voz. Of course. Yes, I know. Thank you. I mean, I believe there is something wrong with your connection. I could understand it, but it was a little bit difficult, Jennifer. But I know you were, you was explaining about your company's mission, right? Yes. Jennifer, yes. Yes. She has, yes, right. Okay, thank you. Let's mission, go ahead. Mission of my company. Exactly, company's mission. Very good. So, guys, I would like to ask you another question. What a specific benefit do you provide to your company? What benefits do you provide to your company you might say teacher but normally the benefits are the ones that my job provides to me okay but what are the benefits that you provide to your company mm -hmm. Ezekiel or Osvin what are the benefits that you provide to your company my Knowledge, el conocimiento. Yes, your knowledge. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, There's no one like you in the job, <laughs> right? Yes, Ezekiel. My experience. I have your experience. Uh, five years in this. Uh, really? Rubro, no sé. <laughs> in this area. Very there, good. Uh, Wow, yes, definitely, guys, the experience is something that nobody can can uh, remove from you, right? That's something that you have experience and knowledge. Those are the benefits. Very good. Good job. So, guys, we have a conversation here, and I would like this conversation to be read by Mabel. And um, let's see. Fatima, okay? Andre, you can start Fatima with Andre. And Mabel, you can go with Kurt, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and practice okay. this conversation right now. I know you don't know some words, maybe you know, but let's do it the way that you read it, okay? Let's practice it. Um, you can okay, start, Fatima. Fatima. Fatima, mm -hmm. Fatima start. Okay. Uh, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable. Sir, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look. Can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia, <laughs> in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of a great help in large projects. Very good, girls. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with us. Okay, very good. Um, I would like to ask you guys if you might be having any question about this. Teacher, what is the meaning uh, and how do you pronounce asset? Asset. 
Asset. Asset. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asset. Do you, or oh, can you please tell me, guys, what is the meaning of asset? It's somebody that knows what is the meaning of, if I say a great asset in the company? Activo. Mm -hmm. There you go. Very good. Good job. So, guys, uh, let's repeat after me. Let's let's uh, try to practice the pronunciation and intonation, okay? Um, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Oh, yeah. Comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Again, please. Comfortable. Comfortable. There you go. Comfortable. 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 There you go. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Basically, there are some silence letters here. Las que están acá son las silence letters. Miren, no se van a pronunciar. Uh, silence letter. Comfortable. All right. Yes, it's like a, you don't say like ta, huh? you say comfortable. 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 All right. Comfortable. 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 All right. Pretty comfortable, sir. Pretty comfortable, sir. Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring uh look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I'm sure about that. Bring to bring to this company as an employee. A project. A project. Sorry, Sabrina. Let me go ahead and check it out later because I'm not understanding as well, but I will ask, okay? Sabrina? Gulag. Okay, it was Gulag. on the Gulag. progress. Pro progress. Progress, it's okay. A, but I have, eh, no había visto eso antes en los otros cursos que me apareciera ese mm. mensajito, pero nunca me había ido a esa pestaña donde dice progreso. Mm, I will no sé si en los anteriores también. Ajá, y ahora por error le vi progreso y decía eso. No sé si significa que soy, como han explicado otras veces, que soy oyente en el grupo. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. Don't worry. Ah, okay. It's ah, fine. Okay. So don't pay attention to that. I, I believe it's not a great yeah. deal, but I will investigate, okay? Just to make sure. Okay, you, teacher. you're welcome. So let's see, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. I will be a great yeah, asset in the company as, because as of my experience in the, in the construction industry. Good job. Construction. 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 With your closed mouth, right? Construction. 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 Like that. <laughs> because it is involved. Construction. Okay. Ah, yeah. No. And this construction. El clue que yo le doy, el tip, es que usted termine la palabra con la boca cerrada. Y eso le va a ayudar. Construction. Construction. Minimiza el chon al final, right? Construction. All right. Construction industry. 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 Wow. 
and I like the, it. And I like it. I like and it. Very good. Industry. It's no industry, right? And the industry. 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 And the Okay. Large. 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 Very good. Large. Project. Large. Project. 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 Good job. Project. Good job. Brian, Brian, or Brian. Project. Which one? Project. Uh, uh, you can bring or you can bring. You can bring. 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 Okay. So, guys. Whenever I say I can say this will be a great opportunity, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry, and it could be it, I could be of great help in the large projects. Is something that is not happening right now. Es algo que no se dice con certeza. Okay, si ustedes analizan la oración dice. I can say this will be a great opportunity. Esto puede ser una buena oportunidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, también tenemos otro. It will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construct, construction industry. En este momento no tiene el trabajo, pero él está diciendo que puede traer, ¿verdad? Esos beneficios que dice porque tiene la experiencia, etcétera. Y la otra dice, I could be of a great help in a large projects. Entonces, él está diciendo qué es lo que puede ser en un futuro, ¿verdad? Posibilidad. Ayudarla en el proyecto largo. Exactly, porque they are talking about what they can, what he can do, in, or what he could do in the future. Como employee. No es que él sea un employee. Estamos hablando siempre de, de cuando usted obtiene un trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, guys, um, this is the topic that we had today. Would be and could be. All right. Sabrina, could you please help me to read? Use could be this text, the short that we have here, Sabrina, this short. Okay. And how to use will be and could be. Use will be and could be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. Uh, example, I will be a great asset. I could be of a great of great help in the sales department. Very good. So guys, look at this definition. It says would be and could be is in order for you to give impression of possibility in the future. Algo posible, ok, la impresión de alguna posibilidad en un futuro, ok, no es algo que se está haciendo ahorita, podría ser, ese es the translation, right, podría ser, right, so would be or could be, eh, es para mostrar impression of possibility in the future, ok, um, let's see, let me get a second. I just want to. Okay, so guys, do me a favor. Let's send me a sentence. Mándeme una oración. Send me a sentence in el chat ahorita. Let's think about. Piensen en un beneficio o en algo en, el, en lo que ustedes podrían aportar a su empresa. A la, ok, let's think about your dream job. That's the first thing. Piensen a ver, a, acerca de su trabajo que más sueñan, en la posición que más han soñado, in your dream job. Think about this. Now, después que piensen de, en eso, think about, guys, what benefit, would you bring to this company? ¿Qué beneficio ustedes le van a traer? Okay, 
¿Qué pasa si el día de mañana tienen su, el trabajo de sus sueños? Vaya, ok, you got the job, tienen el trabajo. Pero, ¿qué beneficio o qué van a traer a la compañía ustedes? ¿Sí? Como no es certeza, <ríe> certero lo que estamos hablando, sino que vamos a hablar de una posibilidad en un futuro, usted me va a dar una oración utilizando el would be. Usted va a decir, I would be the best seller in the company. Or you can say, I could be, I could be the great fashion designer. I could be the best um, teacher in the school, the best English teacher, the best scientist teacher, okay? Give me one sentence. Una oración en la cual ustedes encapsulen su uh, propuesta. Propuesta de negocio. Propuesta, propuesta para el trabajo, okay? ¿Cómo me va a convencer usted a mí en su dream job? Yo no sé cuál es su dream job, pero usted piensa en eso. Se supone que yo lo sé. Entonces, tráigame eso. ¿Y cómo me van a convencer ustedes dándome una oración utilizando el could be y el would be? Ahorita les voy a compartir la pantalla y me lo mandan al chat. Con un ejemplo, right? One example. Uh, let's see. Could be. Any, any, uh, I mean, any of these, cualquiera. Anywhere. Any of these. Mm -hmm. I, I, you can say, I could be the best seller in your company. Or you can say, I would be the, um, the greatest fashion designer in the country. <laughs> I could be the best seller in, our, in your company or I will be the greatest fashion designer in the company. Guys, if you ask me, la estructura que esto tiene es básicamente, es el could, sorry, It's basically uh, could, que es un moreover, okay? Could or would, más el verbo to be, pero el verbo to be no está conjugado. Por eso es could be or would be. Now, if you ask me as well, guys, si ustedes me preguntan, ¿cuál es el que tiene más porcentaje de probabilidad entre ellos? El que es más, el, el que, oh my God, el que es más certero, el que más probabilidad da que, que va a ser algo es el would. El would es más certero que el could. ¿Ok? Si usted dice, I could be the best seller. Ok. I will be the best seller. Ok. Usted lo puede subir el nivel de, um, de probabilidad. Si usted mejor me dice el could be. Esa es la diferencia. Could be es menos certero. Y would be es más certero que se haga. Okay, so FYI, F, guys, Y, oh my God, FYI means for your information. Yes? Teacher, uh, what is more uh, certero? ¿Cuál dijo que era más certero? Oh, uh, this one, would, would be. Would be. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me put it like that. Um, that will be in orange color, could be, and that will be in green color. That means that is more, more than that, okay? I have some examples here. Let's see. Um, I will be the best software developer, developer, Ezekiel. I will be the best software developer. Very good. I will be a great teacher in math. I could be learn, I could be learned well. Okay, very good. I could be a great learner, maybe. I could be, I could be. I will be the most innovative and least boring teacher in the country. Very good. 
that calls my attention. I will be a great gar garment developer by the designer. Very good. Good job. Oh, I got more examples here. I would, I could be the most organized secretary in my company. Okay, I will be the best coordinator in sport in the school. Oh, wow. Okay, there are two that caused my attention already. Hmm. I will be an excellent developer for news style to win new programs for my. Wow. Very good, Daniel. Thank you. Good job. Acuérdense que esa era su propuesta, right? That's okay. Very good. I will be the owner. I will be the owner of the business. Okay. I will be the business owner. I will be the ma Marina's coffees. Ah, oh, delicious Marina's coffees in San Vicente. Very good. Or you can say. Let's see, le vamos a ayudar con esta, Marina. That, there you have the idea, but let me see this. I will be... The, a great, the greatest... And... <laughs> there you go. Let me see. I will be the greatest coffee business woman in San Vicente. What about that? Do you like that, Marina? Hello, teacher. Sorry, I will 